Our topic today is the mechanism of action of nitroglycerin. When the coronary arteries become increasingly blocked due to atherosclerosis, less oxygen is delivered to the cardiac myocytes. This may result in chest pain, also called angina pectoris. This pain most often occurs when there is an increased workload or oxygen demand on the heart. The medication therapy used for angina will either increase oxygen supply to the heart or decrease the oxygen demand by the heart. Nitrates are the mainstay for medication therapy for angina. They act to cause vasodilation, especially venodilation, which results in reduced preload and decreased workload on the heart by reducing oxygen demand. Nitrates come in a lot of different dosage forms, including sublingual, translingual sprays, oral capsules or tablets, intravenous solutions, topical ointments, and transdermal patches. The rapid acting forms, such as sublingual and IV, are used for acute anginal attacks. If given orally, nitrates can have a heavy first pass effect and be largely destroyed by the liver before they even reach systemic circulation. It is for this reason sublingual is the preferred route to treat acute anginal attacks in the outpatient setting as they have a rapid and onset of action. As mentioned, nitrates reduce the workload on the heart by causing venodilation. How do nitrates do this? Nitroglycerin and other nitrate drugs release nitrate ions. These ions are converted to nitric oxide by enzymes in the blood. Nitric oxide is a hydrophobic gas with a short half-life. That then diffuses from the blood to the inside of neighboring smooth muscle cells. Inside the smooth muscle cells, nitric oxide activates the enzyme guanylyl cyclase, which then converts GTP into cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP then activates a cyclic GMP dependent protein kinase, which phosphorylates myosin light chain kinase and also phosphorylates the circa pump. Phosphorylation inhibits MLCK, so that it phosphorylates the myosin light chain less. Less phosphorylation of the light chains on myosin results in less myosin-actin interaction, and therefore smooth muscle relaxation. The circuit pump is activated by cyclic GMP-dependent protein kinase. This acts to decrease calcium in the cytosol, also leading to relaxation. Remember that nitrate-induced vasodilation mainly affects the veins at low doses, therefore causing venodilation and a decrease in venous return to decrease preload. The reduction in preload decreases the workload on the heart and takes away the chest pain. Two common sublingual forms that have a quick onset include nitroglycerin tablets and the nitrolingual pump spray. The sublingual route will bypass the first pass breakdown of the drug. These should be taken as soon as the chest pain comes on. The patient should sit or lie down first as the medication may cause syncope or fainting due to the vasodilation that it causes. Guidelines indicate that three doses can be taken, separated by five minutes. If chest pain is not relieved within five minutes after the first dose, then 911 should be called. While waiting for emergency personnel, additional doses can be taken if the chest pain persists, but don't exceed three total doses within a 15-minute period, as this may cause hypotension and reflex tachycardia, and may elicit a myocardial infarction or heart attack. Nitroglycerin ointment is used to prevent angina attacks and has an onset of 20 to 60 minutes. Nurses often apply this to the chest, abdomen, or upper arms. The correct dosing paper that comes with the medication should be used. Don't apply using a finger unless gloves are worn. This prevents absorption through the skin. Once the ointment is applied, don't rub it into the skin. The ointment should be covered with an occlusive dressing, like plastic wrap, if one is not provided. The ointment is applied in the morning and then six hours later. This provides for a 12-hour drug-free period 
at night, which is necessary to avoid tolerance to the nitroglycerin, which renders it much less effective. Remember to remove residual ointment from the previous dose before applying the next dose. This can be done by gently cleaning with soap and water and then patting dry. The patches should be applied to a clean hairless area of the upper arms or torso. Remember to make sure the old patch is removed before applying a new one and to alternate the sites of application. The old patch should be removed before sleep to provide an 8-hour drug-free period. This allows enzymes to replenish. If a drug-free period is not provided, the patient will develop tolerance to the nitroglycerin and the medication will not be effective for treating or preventing chest pain. Patient education regarding angina and the use of nitroglycerin is important. Remind patients of activities that increase the chance for angina, including overexertion, emotional upset, and overeating. In general, the higher the energy content of the food, the harder the heart will have to work to fully digest it. Adverse drug reactions are related to vasodilation and include headache, from cerebral vessel vasodilation, flushing due to cutaneous vasodilation, orthostatic hypotension, which is low blood pressure when standing up from a recumbent position, and syncope, which is a medical term for fainting. It may also cause a degree of reflex tachycardia, a negative feedback response that attempts to increase the low blood pressure that was caused by the vasodilation. Contraindications for the drug included drug allergy, hypotension, severe anemia, closed angle glaucoma, and elevated intracranial pressure, which occurs as cerebral vessels dilate and increase cerebral blood volume to further increased ICP. The patient should never use PDE5 inhibitors used for erectile dysfunction concurrently with nitrate drugs, as they both increase cyclic GMP and could lead to a dangerous drop in blood pr pressure. Now for some questions to assess your understanding. Pause the video and think of your answer. If you answer D, you are correct. If you answer D, you are correct again. Thanks for watching.